one thing you're going to learn about is how to handle stress. We're all involved with stress in our lives, and there's some really great tools that we have in chiropractic that can help with that. Okay. Another thing is our energy level. You're going to learn how to increase your energy level as much as 300%. And then finally, you're going to learn some of the latest technology that we have in chiropractic and also uh, some of the information that we have on nutrition. So it's going to be great. We're going to have a great time. It's going to go really fast. We're going to put a lot of information in a very short period of time. So what I want you to do is put your seatbelts on, put your hat on, because we're going to go for a ride for the next 25 minutes. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about me, who I am, why I'm so crazy to be doing this all the time after 26 years. And uh, I think I've seen over 30,000 people. And I plan to do this for about 10 more years. Okay, so why would I do this? What is the big thing about this? This all happened when I was much younger, when I was uh, a graduate from Cal Poly, I was gonna go to medical school. And then I got in a rear end collision. And when I got in that rear end collision, I was very injured. And I tried the medications, and that made, just made me feel crazy, and I wasn't getting better. And when I stopped taking the medication, what would happen? It would come back again, right? And I was in this vicious cycle of this, and somebody talked me, I don't remember who it was, but somebody talked me into going to see a chiropractor. And frankly, I was scared to death. You know, a lot of us are afraid of things when we don't know anything about it, right? And that's where I was. And, but I was going out of, out of inspiration, I was going out of desperation. So I went to see Dr. Sharp in Brea, and with that first adjustment, it just changed my life. I could breathe, I could, I just felt like everything came back, like that nerve energy started coming back and it just was very profound. And it just so happened that I was working um, about two blocks from a chiropractic school as a chemist. And so I said, well, let me look into this. This is pretty cool. And it just turns out one thing looked after another and that's how I got into it. Um, I was uh, working in Mexico and I uh, did a lot of work over there with the orphans and that was probably the funnest time I've had in chiropractic because guess what they didn't have? Paperwork. <laughs> and they were so appreciative. You know, there'd be lines of people for hours and hours. Yes. The people that heal the slowest are my patients that are stressed the most. Because stress, and it's not just for chiropractic. That would be for any doctor standing right here would probably tell you that their patients heal much slower. So is it important for us to know how to handle stress? And that's why we're here tonight, to learn some of the tools for that kind of story. Because I want you to realize that when you're getting adjusted, not just dealing with your neck and your back and your arms and your legs. This is affecting every single cell in your body because your brain is attached to every cell and we're going through your spine. This is a really profound thing that that's why I'm so crazy about this and so excited about it of how much good it could do for you guys. So and don't take my word for it as you get adjusted just see how it's doing in your own lives. How you're feeling your energy level, how you're sleeping, um, how you're thinking. These are things that we hear back. I can't tell you it's going to do that or it's going to do that, but I can tell you people come all the time and tell me about the different things that happens to them. All right, go ahead and put one hand behind you here and your other hand here. And see, let's see how close you guys come to. Um, you know, so you, this one's touching here. Oh, no, you can't do that. Uh, you're about four inches away. And let's take a look here. You're touching. Um, if you take this guy here, and you t these bones are here to do what? Protect your nerves. But if the bone slips and pushes and pinches the nerve, now it's causing pressure on that nerve. And you can take Advil, Tylenol, uh, Oxycodone, uh, you name it. You take all these medications. Will that take the pressure off the nerve? No. The only thing that's going to take the pressure off the nerve and the only ones that are trained to do that are chiropractors. And what we do is we find these areas, move the bone off the nerve, and the body's able to do what? Heal itself, right? But there's just one catch. It's not as easy as taking a pebble out of your shoe because you take it out and it's done. What this is going to do is do what? You're going to leave, you're going to go home, go back to your activities of daily living, and what's going to happen? It's going to go out again. We adjust you, we give you guys a day to repair and heal, and then we bring you back in, adjust you again, to retrain and re-educate this to stay in this proper alignment. And then we give you the exercises and stretches so that the problem's solved, okay? So I'm gonna pass this one around so that you guys can take a look at what that looks like. Now, 
What happens if that bone is out of place for too long? Wouldn't you say most people out there, if they have pain or something, they're going to take Advil or Tylenol or Motrin or something like that, right? Are they going to go to a chiropractor? Probably not. How many people go to a chiropractor's percentage-wise? Maybe about... Is that too high? Yeah, it's too high. About 10%. No. Yeah. The rest of them, 39% of them, don't even know what the heck they do. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that's out there. So, now, over time, if it stays out of alignment, the body will try to take care of it itself. And the way it does that, it starts to grow together. These bones start to grow and hook. Oh, we got some action out there. And that's what it looks like. And once it locks, those discs, those fat, healthy discs, Start to, start to shrink. Have you noticed when people get older, they get smaller? You have 24 of these, and if they're all shrinking, guess what? We shrink. So is it important to keep these hydrated and healthy? Absolutely, unless you want to shrink, right? Okay, I'm gonna pass this around. You're gonna see what happens if we just ignore our spines. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, um, you know, what is that noise? What, what's that, that cracking? And a lot of people actually think it's bones rubbing together, causing that cracking sound. And it's nothing like that. You know what it is? Does anybody know? It's air. Air. It's air in the joint. It's in a liquid state, and when you move it, have you ever uh, taken a uh, champagne bottle and popped it open? And you hear that pop? It's the same thing. It that noise is a gapping of when you move a joint real fast, it causes the um, the fluid inside the joint to go from a liquid to a gas just for a split second and guess what that's not what's getting you guys better it's not that you hear the pops that's not it it's the movement of getting the joints moving again okay all right any other questions once you do the chiropractic care what prevents you from going back to the way you were okay great question all right so there's three different stages of care there's the initial care where we're trying to do the correction and trying to get everything in good alignment, okay? And then the next phase of the care is the stabilization. And that's where we're tapering you down, you're coming less and less, but you're doing more and more at home, more exercises and more stretches. And then at that point, you're pretty stable, but you go back to your lifestyle and it could actually come back again. So a lot of the patients that have been through a program like this see the benefit and start to feel good, and so they go into our wellness care program. And they'll come in once a month, every other week, something like that, just to kind of maintain and keep that, that flow of energy through their body. Okay, does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, uh, let's keep going. Uh, any other questions? There's one here that kind of stands out to me because I see it as an epidemic. And does anyone know which one it is? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's get, is it getting worse now with these cell phones? Yeah. yeah. They have a term for it now. Have you heard the term text neck? No? Okay, that's, that's the new term for it. Um, but what's happening is we are losing the normal anatomy, literally changing the anatomy of our spines by the way that we're uh, using our computers, the way we're sitting so much, and all of us, we don't know how to correct it. Most of us don't. And so I just want to show you a couple of tools that you can use for your posture. First of all, we need to define what good posture is. Okay, so, come on up. Okay, so, turn this way. All right, so, what we want to make sure is the eyes are level, shoulders are level, hips are level, and that the legs are not going in or out or anything like that. So, take a look at her. Does she have good posture? I think so. No, she looks great. Okay, now turn sideways. Okay, now, what we do here is we draw an imaginary line right through her, from her shoulder, her hip, her ankle up to her ear. Now, let me look at her from here. Yeah, she's pretty good. So, from the middle of the humerus to the external auditory meatus, the opening of the ear, this should be in good alignment. Does she look pretty good? Yeah, yeah she looks pretty good. What do most people look like? <laughs> and they round their shoulders like, and they don't even realize it. Okay, thank you. All right, so, the first thing I want you to do tonight, after today, this is the first thing I need you to start remembering. Posture. Be more aware of your posture. Most people have, are oblivious to it. Okay, you'll look better, and you're going to feel better, and your adjustments are going to hold better. Okay, and what you could do.
do is you can tell your significant other or someone you live with to bust you because we can't see ourselves, right? So if they see us out like that, just to remind us. And it's going to take some work, but you guys can do it. There's a curve in our back right here, okay? This guy doesn't have a good one, but it's, it's kind of like that, all right, that we all have in our spines. But these chairs aren't allowing that to happen, so our spines are straightening out. So what do the muscles do? They all tighten to compensate for it, and then we get what? Back pain, right? So um, something as simple as this not only will help uh, realign your spine, but also your neck. So put this behind you. Okay, and then go ahead and sit back on it. Okay, so as she sits back on it, how's that feel? I feel like I'm leaning back. <laughs> okay, all right, but that's good because she's normally used to being here. So we have her back more so that her ear will line up more with her shoulder and she'll be in a better posture. So something as simple as that would be uh, really good for you guys to invest in. All right, well, thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.